Thanks for checking in as we take a look at the national coast-to-coast forecast here on this Thursday, September 6th. And as we approach quickly, the uh, peak, the typical peak of the Atlantic hurricane season, which is September 10th, the tropics are very active right now, especially with uh, Gordon making landfall a couple of nights ago and now Florence in the central Atlantic. We'll have to watch that very closely, and I'll show you why in a second here. But some severe weather, flooding potential, and uh, heat still in the lower 48. So this is a look at the remnants of Gordon uh, from um, uh, early this morning doesn't look like much, but heavy rain is really now the main concern. Some flash flood warnings and some flash flood watches stretching from Mississippi into Arkansas. And we'll have another threat of some of that heavy rain moving up into Missouri and parts of the Ohio Valley over the coming days. So this is a look just through Saturday now, anywhere from, say, two to four plus inch tallies. And then through the late weekend and early next week, that heavy rain will be shifting into the Ohio Valley with um, some spots picking up maybe three to four plus inch rainfall tallies as well. So there's that Connor clockwise circulation and we still have some tropical moisture associated with that and kind of lifting into the Ohio Valley so that'll be squeezed out over the next several days. Uh, still watching waves of energy roll off the western tip of Africa. A couple of waves that we'll have to watch into the coming days but Florence was a category four hurricane yesterday down to three on this early Thursday morning. Now the track is shifting a little bit farther south and if this continues to track to the west we'll have to watch that very closely over the eastern seaboard coming in by uh, late next Next week, and some models do suggest that that is a possibility, uh, so we'll watch that. Meanwhile, in the eastern Pacific, Olivia and Norman continue. There's Olivia. That is a fairly impressive storm, at least on satellite. You can see that this is drifting to the west. We'll have to watch that by next week as it approaches the Hawaiian Islands. And then there's a look at Norman. Uh, this is good news that it is going to be tracking to the northwest of the islands as well. Meanwhile, pretty hot in the northeast with some heat advisories in place. It'll feel more like the triple digits.